Hey there, Elsa. What are you doing? Hey, PJ. I'm trying to find a book about turtles. You mean like Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, and Raphael? No, silly. I mean like painted turtles, or the common snapping turtle, or the green sea turtle, or the spotted turtle. Hey y'all, what are you up to? Elsa is looking for books on turtles. That's neat. I'm looking for a book on people who stop crime. You mean like the police? No, I mean the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Peter, it sounds like you want a fiction book. Ilsa, it sounds like you want a non-fiction book. What's the difference? Fiction books are made-up stories that we read to be entertained. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are fictional characters made up for a story. Non-fiction books are informational. We read them to learn more about the universe we live in. I get it. I want to learn about turtles by learning more information about them, so I should get a non-fiction book. And I want to be entertained by the ninja crime fighting adventures of Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, and Raphael, so I should get a fiction book. That's right. I still don't understand. Maybe this song will help. Does that mean fiction books always have make-believe in them, like unicorns, dragons, and leprechauns? And that non-fiction is always about real things, like science, math, and technology? No. Fiction can be about realistic things. We call that realistic fiction. There are lots of different types of fiction. We call those genres. Genres of fiction include realistic fiction, fantasy, mystery, horror, and many more. And non-fiction can be about things that aren't real like mythology. Books can describe the mythologies of different cultures and we can learn about things like minotaurs, supernatural creatures, and creation stories. Is there more to the song that can help us remember? There is, there is. Fiction, fiction comes in many genres, many genres, many genres. Fiction comes in many genres, like mystery, fantasy, and horror. Nonfiction covers many topics, many topics, many topics. Nonfiction covers many topics, like science, mythology, and health. Wow! I never knew the difference between fiction and nonfiction, but I do now. Can we sing the whole song? That's a, that's a great idea, PJ. And kids out there, sing along if you know the word. Fiction is a made-up story, made-up story, made-up story. Fiction is a made-up story we read to have some fun. Non-fiction has information, information, information. Non-fiction has information we read to learn new things. And in many genres, many genres, many genres, fiction comes in many genres like mystery, fantasy, and horror. Nonfiction covers many topics, many topics, many topics. Nonfiction covers many topics like science, mythology, and health. Fiction is a made up story, made up story, made up story. Fiction is a made-up story we read to have some fun. Non-fiction has information, information, information. Non-fiction has information we read to learn new things. Fiction comes in many genres, many genres, many genres. Fiction comes in many genres like mystery, fantasy, and horror. Non-fiction covers many topics, many topics, many topics. Non-fiction covers many topics like science, mythology, and health. We, we had a lot of fun today, and we learned a lot too. But knowing the difference between fiction and non-fiction is just a first step. 
As you go out into the world, you're going to find that a lot of what you read will try to pass itself off as non-fiction when really it's made up, just like any fiction story. The more you read and think, the better you'll be able to tell the difference between non-fiction that is giving you good information and fiction that is just pretending to give good information. Keep reading and thinking, and you'll be able to tell the difference. I know you can do it. <laughs>